All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Salute to the hopefully elect. This is part two of um, this article that I found. Um, I didn't have a, um, a name, a title for uh, this video yet, but it's a continuation on uh, my previous video that I did about this article, um, this quote that Dame, I believe Dame Dash, if you look on the screen, Dame Dash, and uh, he was quoting a Jew, I'm going to read it again, because I got more uh, scriptures to back up, you know, um, all praises be unto you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah, putting the spirit on me to uh, do a continuation on backing up who the real Israelites are because I'm going to just read the article again. It says a Jewish, this is Dame Dad speaking, and I got this article off of uh, Pinterus, um, Google. It says a businessman told me we call you black people liquid money the same way that water falls out of a man's hands. Money typically seeps out of the out of a black person's hands. The same way your community gets money and immediately gives it all away to people who aren't black. We see that as a huge business opportunity. And yeah, so uh, that's Esau taking advantage of you, Jakes. And they know it. They know. They they understand some of them have an idea you know, up under the curses, but we in the truth, we know it, you know. And like I was saying in a previous video. Um, we match the curses, you know, we match everything. This is your heritage. We match everything in, in the scriptures. And it's a reason why this guy is in a predicament he's in to take advantage of Jake or so what, as he would say, black people, which we, uh, they, they, this, the same, uh, people, this Jew wish, which he wish he was a Jew that took our heritage. Because they, they call themselves Jewish. They pertain to only one tribe. And that's the tribe of Judah. But guess what? It's 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob. Because they come up out of Esau. So, um, again, let's go to the scriptures. All right, I came to Deuteronomy. Yeah, because it's a reason why these, um, I quoted Job in my uh, previous video. I quoted, quoted Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who is the wicked? Yeah, Esau. And that th those Jewish people come up out of uh, Esau because Esau has sons too. But these Jewish people come up out of Amalek, which, you know, they got different sons and stuff like that. So it's certain levels. You know, you got the elites. They on the top level. Then you got the lower elites. The, what they call the low, lower luminaries. And then you got uh, people on another level, then another level. Then you got people like Bill Gates and, uh, you know, the super the super rich. But the super rich is, is certain levels to that because they, you know, that's when you got the Rothschilds and the Oppenheimers and, and people like that. They come up out of Amalek, which were one of the head tribes of uh, the clan that come out of Esau, the, what they would say, the dukes, the dukes of Edom. As the, as the scripture would say, the dukes of Edom, because going back to Jacob and Esau, when they were having their, uh, Jacob had his sons and stuff like that. Esau had sons. And then that's, that's when the tribes came out. But guess what? While Israel was having tribes and clans and all that, Esau had uh, tribes and clans. I believe Esau had five sons, if I'm not mistaken. A brother could, you know, put it in the... Uh, the comments, but I believe Esau had five sons. And guess what? The same thing came down with uh, Maya Amshel uh, Bauer. He had five sons and so on. And, and his sons, that's when that's when they start to take uh, come into power. That's when the Rothschild family start to come into power. But before that, it was the Oppenheimers and it was other families, elite families of Esau running things. They slowly crept up in the uh, 
and a power seat because Jake was ruling. But uh, it's, let's going back on the um, subject that uh, quote, it's a reason uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And then the curses, it's a lot of curses that we up under. And um, one of the main ones that the guy quoted, I read Haggai chapter one, verse six in my previous video, but um, it goes even deeper. Um, right here, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to, um, right here, it says, um, yep, yeah, it says the fruit of, yeah, uh, verse 33, the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed away. So that's one of the reasons. Now check this. That's one of the reasons that the that Jewish man said we look at black blacks uh, like liquid because when they get money, it comes right out back to us. OK. It says this. Verse 38, thou shalt carry much seed out into the field and shall gather but little in for the locust shall consume it. So, yeah, these Jewish people are like, you ever notice these Jewish people are like vampires? They suck Jake dry, man. So, I guess you can look at them as locusts as well. But look look at this. Um, I read verse 38, right? Now, check this out. It says, thou shalt plant, verse 39, they, thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine nor drink nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. Now check this out. <clears throat> it goes deep. It goes deeper. It says, All of thy trees and fruits of thy land shall, uh, shall the locusts consume. It said, now check this out, verse 33. The stranger that is with, within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Didn't he say that in the quote? Check this out. And it matches us. Hey, you, you people that don't get this. Y'all you, you, asleep, man. Y'all asleep. But guess what? The Heavenly Father did that. That's why we uh, we got to pray and keep asking the Lord for mercy. Because he could, he, just like he gave us this, this awakening, he could take it away. And that's very, very scary. Verse 44, it says, He shall lend to thee, and thou shall not lend to him. He shall be the head. And that shall be the tale. You ever notice Jake never had money to like give anybody like, you know, like on a, on a major level, like nobody looks to Jake to get a, a loan. It's always Jake looking elsewhere to get a loan for to start, whether it's a business or or a house loan or anything that got to do with, um, you know, consume um, what do you call it? The economy or the. uh you know, cons consuming things. Jake got to get the loan. So it says, he shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shall be the tail. That, there it go, right there. It explains it all. There it go. So, so it, it, oh, it's more. It says, is there's, um, that, I'm going to go down to verse 48. It says, thou shall thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send to thee. Guess what? Check this out. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. And yes, they are they are our enemies. You know, I don't care how much money Esau give you Negroes. He's still your enemy, man. But read on, it says, it says, therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. What's that saying? Food, clothing, and shelter. That's why none of you Jakes own anything. Any major manufacturers that got to do with food, clothing, and shelter. Kanye talking about, oh yeah, we can't. Um, the clothing industry is 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 ran by whites. Yeah, because the Lord did that. Now in the kingdom, we're going to be running everything. 
Because this is their kingdom. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. So listen to this. Food, clothing, and shelter. Or food, food and clothing. And, uh, and thirst. And, and, and thirst, what's that? Liquor. That's what they own all the wine. The wine presses in the wine fields. And that's thirst. You know? Anything that got to do with drinking. Thirst. What's that? Liquor. They own everything. All the liquor uh, factories and all that. Esau own that. We don't own none of that. So check this out. It says, and in want of all things. So Esau going to own everything. Or the other nations. So, yeah, this, this scripture was Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Let's read it again. It says, therefore, shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have been destroyed. So, yeah, that explain, explains the... Um, that explain that explains it. Let's yeah, let's go back to the quote. So yeah, that explains how this Jew wish, because he wished he was a Jew. This Jewish businessman told me, we call you black people or Israelites. And Damon Dash, yeah, he, Damon Dash is an Israelite. It says, liquid money, the same way that water falls out of a man's hands. Money typically seeps out of a black person's hands the same way. Your community gets money and immediately gives it all away to people who are in black or who are in Israel. Israelites, we see that as a huge business opportunity. Yeah, because you had no mercy, Esau. But guess what? Your time coming where we ain't, like you ain't had no mercy on us. We ain't going to have mercy on you. The Lord ain't going to have mercy on you. The scriptures say it. You know, the Lord is not going to have any mercy on you. Y'all see, y'all see that as an opportunity, and that's all y'all look at us is an just like the rat field, you know. Oh, you see these niggas creating rat, but we're gonna create the business around it so that they can't make any money. They can make a little bit, but we're gonna make this. We're gonna make. We're gonna make the money off of this, and that's and that still goes on to this day. Every Jake is the form of all things, so you'd be surprised what Jake created. Basically everything, but. Who's getting the credit for it? Esau. Just the other day, I was doing a, a video on George Crumb. He's, he uh, invented the potato chip. You see? So if you if you do dig down and do your research, you know, you'll find out that Jake created everything. But Esau getting the credit for it. You know? So um, I hope this was edifying to the body. Till again, shalom.